What is up guys? Aim from the Zayman YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to show you guys a sneaky cover three bomb out of the single back wing type formation in my Washington Redskins offensive playbook. Now, before we get into the video, guys, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you are notified every day when I upload here to the Zan Madden YouTube channel. If you guys want to watch me play Madden 20 live, you can check me out on the Twitch platform, twitch.tv slash Zan Madden. I do go live nearly every day around 2 p.m. Central Time, and I stream for the majority of the afternoon on most days. I do have exclusive sub-only content for my Tier 1 and Twitch Prime subscribers, and I do have my Washington Redskins offense available for a Tier 2 sub over there on the Twitch channel. So go ahead and check me out over there. This is a Hot Route Master offense. Uh, I know a lot of you are probably thinking, oh, Hot Route Master, I need Escape Artist. When I say this, I truly mean it. This is probably the best I've been against the Blitz in quite some time. This is a quick passing scheme that is going to open up so many coverage bombs because your opponents are afraid to Blitz you. Uh, arguably the most fun I've had on offense in the last few years and uh, probably the best I've been offensively just because I'm in my own mindset. I'm not really running meta right now. It's just kind of something that I'm creating and coming up with. Now, uh, for the purpose of this video, I have created kind of a MUT or a CFM style offense where you can like get players packaged differently, build your roster the way you want it. Obviously in regs, there isn't really a way to get a wide receiver at the tight end position uh, unless you're playing CFM. So uh, just kind of, you know, find a fast tight end for this. Otherwise, if you're playing CFM or Mutt, this is an offense that does allow you to get a wide receiver at the tight end via the use of a package. I do break it down in the offense, but I've gone ahead and put Julio Jones on the Patriots and made him a tight end. I also do have uh, New Hopkins out there out wide. So uh, this is a cover three bomb. Let's talk more walk, Zan. Let's go ahead and show it to you. This is a double move concept. Um, you'll notice that the outside receiver on the left, the red route, does have a little stutter in his go. So this does have some man beating properties if you have double move elite on your outside receiver, but we're going to be looking at this strictly through the lens of beating cover three. So let's go ahead and call this against three, four odd cover three sky. And you want the wide receiver to the wide side of the field. Again, this is a hot route master setup. So we're going to put the tight end on the wide receiver side on a corner route, smart route him. We're going to take the inside tight end on the twin tight end side, which is actually a receiver, put him on a streak. And we're going to trail route the B tight end with the hot route master. Block the running back once we'll block him to the outside left twice we'll block him up the middle and we're going to motion snap new copkins inside the numbers a couple steps so you're gonna see here we're gonna snap it right here and we're gonna go, go go ahead and let him run his route and we're gonna throw an outside pass lead all the way outside over that third and rat catch it for the one play score so why does this happen well there's two reasons why the first reason is because we have a faster player at the julio jones spot on the field via the use of a package so we go into the replay menu here and show you how his vertical route is going to pull the free safety and cover three to the right side of the field. Now, you see that he's bracketed off the line by both the outside third and the middle third on this play. If we were to go all the way over here and look at this route progression, what happens is because this is a stutter go, New Hopkins stutters off the line right here, kind of jogs in place, allowing Kelsey on his corner route to become the most vertical threat. And that's going to pull down the outside third, allowing this little stutter go to then release and start to run down the seam wide open in which we throw an outside pass lead over the top and rat catch it for the one play score. Again, this is something you're going to be able to do against your cover three defense. It does require a hot route master setup. So again, here, corner route to the Y tight end. You could smart route it, block the running back, streak the A tight end, angle route the B tight end. The angle route to the B tight end serves two purposes. If they zone blitz you in the right inside side of the field is open near the seam, you could throw that right as he cuts back over the middle. It also is a good man beater in addition to the corner route. That is a good man beater if you catch your opponent in cover one and you were guessing cover three. So there are a couple man beaters. Uh, Kelsey obviously is going to pull down the outside third against zone, but he's also good against man coverage if they do run a cover one or they blitz you in a cover zero type situation. So pretty easy. Now, we're gonna go ahead and do this motion again here. Again, this does take a little bit of time. Um, obviously, block sheds can get to anybody, but uh, you're gonna see here how, again, outside pass lead, little rat catch, Hopkins. And, and again, Hopkins isn't really the fastest receiver and Brady's not the strongest arm quarterback and certainly doesn't have the fastest release in the game, but you can see how easy this is to throw. So um, go ahead and show this to you again here. Little motion snap to the inside, snap it right there and let Kelsey pull down that outside third and then just bombs away over the top. You saw right there in that situation, I didn't actually, I don't believe smart route Kelsey. You notice that he pulled down the outside third a lot quicker than when you actually smart route it. So there are two benefits here. One, 
you know, if you're going with this, this little short corner beats man coverage a lot quick, more quickly and actually pulls down the zone sooner. But if you're facing, you know, your uh, regular cover three, for instance, and you actually want to throw the corner out, let's say for whatever reason they're keying in on Hopkins, you could smart route Kelsey's corner route and try to throw him over the top of the purple zone as it goes to the wide side of the field. You can see here uh, right there, I think uh, Gilmore just like latched on and, and peeled off of that because he's insane. But that is a flood concept that you can run as well. So there are benefits to the deeper corner, but there are also benefits to the short one in terms of this route combination working a little bit more consistently uh, in terms of being a cover three beater. The short corner is pretty solid at beating the, or pulling down the cover three sooner. You see how it just pulls him down. And now you've got a, a much bigger window than we did on the first couple of reps to make this throw. So the short corner is phenomenal, but it's not really viable against zone uh, if you actually want to throw the ball potentially to that player. But again, if they're running, you know, straight up cover three and you want to try to get that ball out to him, you know, you could run a concept like this where you actually streak Hopkins and let Kelsey kind of run his route over the top. Um, you see right here. You can throw that ball there and, you know, make that possession catching as cover three. So, um, you know, there, there are benefits to Kelsey's route. Now, let's go ahead and get back into this setup in terms of beating, you know, your man meta. So uh, we go right back to this play again. The play that we're calling is flanker uh, stretch. I do have a double move elite here in Kelsey. The problem is, is that he's slow. Um, so I'm going to try to show this to you uh, here. Uh, he just is really, really slow. Um, but I want to show you how he lights up on this play. And if he had a little bit more speed um like if you have a wide receiver with double move elite this would be money so i just kind of will show you actually gilmore is following him around so um he's probably going to get shut down here but i do want to show you here that he does light up you see how there's a red x under him because he is on a double move technically even though it's just a stutter go um you'll see that he lights up basically right there and you see that obviously gilmore being a lockdown man corner shuts it down so he's getting shadowed right now obviously but um, let me see if I can go ahead and try to sub out Gilmore real quick, just for the purpose of this video, uh, try to get that done for you guys here. So put Kelsey back out there on that route. I tried to flip it so he was away from Gilmore. Let me go ahead and pull just Gilmore off the field real quick. Just put in uh, just a regular guy, Jackson. I'm not sure how fast McCordy is, but we'll leave him there. So uh, again, we, you want a little bit more speed for Kelsey, but if you have a non-ability player here, uh, so we go back to this setup. Um, a non-ability player covering Kelsey. You'll notice that he lights up and he does try to create separation. Boom, right there. You see how he stutters, but because he's so slow, the guy is able to catch up. That's kind of the problem, right? You want a, uh, you want a faster receiver with the double move elite to actually accelerate by that guy. But you can see that he does go flat-footed. You just need a receiver that can burst out of this cut. Right? Obviously, a tight end with double move elite is really... See how he just goes flat-footed? How he like bites down on the route? You just want to you want a receiver that can explode out of this. So like if you have like a Tyree kill, that's a touchdown against man coverage. So, you know, just kind of be uh, advised that obviously Kelsey, you can see the effects of the ability, but you can't really see the results because of his his uh, his limitations in speed. So uh, but in terms of beating, you know, man coverage in general, though, um, we have the ability here with this play with the angle route and also the corner to really torch man coverage. So you're gonna see how Izzo, even with low route running, beats man coverage. Obviously, right there with the stutter go, uh, you want to get him out of the way. You saw right there that the man running the stutter go kind of uh, pulled his man into the interaction. We'll go ahead and streak Kelsey this time, get him out of the way, kind of clear it out. I see Izzo is much more open, and Izzo is not even a good route runner. He's just able to, that that route in general does beat man. That's what the hot route master is such a great, great uh, ability to have is that pretty much, pretty much beats man with most of his, uh, most of his hot routes. So you can see here now watch Ingram on his angle route. He's going to cook man coverage. We talked about that in a, a few videos back last week. Uh, so this this play definitely does have man beating properties on top of being a, a really solid cover three beater. So that is today's video, guys. Please, once again, make sure you guys, if you're interested, check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Zan Madden. Once again, I do have sub tips. They go out every single Friday to my tier one and Twitch Prime subscribers. But if you go up to that next uh, next level of subbing, the tier two sub, you will get my Washington Redskins offense. There's over 80 minutes of content in that offense. And you will also get the sub tips every single Friday because you are a tier two. So you get all the benefits of tier one plus the offense. Uh, and we are also working on emotes and other perks as well for my subscribers. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you guys hit a hit the thumbs up. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them below in the comment section. 
and I will see you guys tomorrow with my next upload. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.